Well guys, I've had to do a quick um, explanation or summary, just in case it does get blown away. I've made this hot air balloon using the packaging that my friend sent me for the 3D printed boat. Um, I've actually got a kit for making a hot air balloon like this, but significantly bigger. And there wasn't enough tissue to make it full size, so I've made it smaller. I haven't got the shape quite right, so it's not a perfect sphere or balloon shape. Um, and I'm trying to do it outdoors, because indoors it's too warm and you need the difference between the heat inside the balloon and the cold air outside to um, have the right lift effect. The only thing is it's a little bit windy. So we'll give that one more try using my wife's hair dryer. So we're inflating okay. Not very stable. Oh. <laughs> We've got a little bit of lift, but not much. Well, at the moment, we're not looking at a success, are we? It was handy to try out the build method, but I think it's too heavy, because it's the same sort of tissue paper that we would have used for a much bigger one. We haven't got the... Um, scale benefit so it's quite heavy for the size of balloon it is I've done something similar before with a plastic bag and that worked much better so um, yeah we'll put this one down to experience making it in panels and gluing them together worked but too small, too heavy. Just so you've got some idea of what I was waffling on about outside, that's the balloon that I've made from uh, bits of tissue paper that were used as the packaging for a 3D boat I've been sent by a friend. And this is what I based my balloon on a kit that I bought in a charity shop 
which was practically empty. It was missing all the bits that were supposed to be in there, apart from the instruction booklet, which is what I followed. So you glue the bits of tissue paper together, and then you fold them all up so they're half-shaped lengthways, and then you put the uh, template on there, and then you cut round the template, so you get lots of uh, whatever you call that shape, almost boat shaped really. And then you glue the panels together, work your way all the way around, so you've got them all glued together. what I did and then at the bottom you cut up some plastic drinking straws which is what I've got there to make this circle at the bottom to hold the bottom open for when you where are we for when you can blow the hot air up underneath oh and you put a patch on the top which I did. Followed the instructions. Yeah. With the full sized one, you can see the size of it there, the people underneath it. You either do it outdoors and fill it with hot air from your barbecue, or you do it indoors with a um, hot air blower, a heater. Yeah, the end result of the full-sized one is 1.7 metres high, or 5 feet, feet 8 inches high, and 4.5 metres circumference, or 15 feet circumference. So, I say this is significantly smaller. Um, and I think my problem is, because it's significantly smaller, the weight, um, proportionately, the weight is heavier. So we're struggling there. Maybe on a very cold day it might work better. Uh, I'll put a link in the video description to my uh, solar heated balloon, which is a very big black plastic bag that you fill up, lay it out on the grass, and allow the solar heat, the sun, to actually heat the air that's inside the black bag. And that worked extremely well. But that was a very cold morning. I went and did it on. There was frost on the ground. Anyway, I've waffled for long enough. So it, that is not actually that. That's scrap tissue paper that I just practiced, I suppose, in effect. Practiced the building technique. And the building technique worked out fine. Got all these panels that you glue around the edges. You see I had to use various different bits of tissue paper. And I think I ended up too heavy. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.